when I first heard the leak of the Supreme Court ban on abortions, I got my vulva art printed. I just felt very compelled to put the work out into the world. I'm pasting these vulvas illegally in different parts of the Bay Area. All right. I'm an artist, a mother, an activist. I came across the idea of doing something very similar to the vagina monologues and decorating and embellishing vulvas and collecting women's stories as a way to really highlight the female experience. And I found out later that I was pregnant. In the case of the abortion ban, I also reached out to friends to see if they would share their abortion stories. I collected close to 170 stories. I made QR codes and I attached them to 10 of my pieces. I really want to humanize abortion. And as a matter of fact, my story is here too. It's actually this one right here. I had just moved back to the U.S. I was stopped and raped by a stranger in my town. I was raped when I was 18. A couple of months later, I found out I was pregnant. I felt like this was a nightmare that was never ending. I chose to and I'm so grateful I, I had access to a safe, legal abortion. <laughs> Motherhood has been the best part of my life. I brought in my child at a time when I felt ready and I had accumulated so much life experience. Shortly after the first installation, there was the Buffalo shooting. A couple of days after that, there was the shooting in Texas. My vision was to do the same installation, but have messages that were more related to gun control. I'm gonna keep pasting these stories. It's a true dedication to my daughter and all the girls of this world. Mm -hmm.